The air hung heavy, thick with anticipation. It was as if the very walls of the room were holding their breath, waiting for the moment to unfold. The fog outside seemed to seep into the room, adding to the oppressive atmosphere, making every breath feel like a struggle. Jack, a man sculpted by hardship, meticulously assembled his instrument of change. His hands, rough and calloused from years of toil, moved with a precision that belied their rugged appearance. Each movement was deliberate, each piece carefully placed, as if he were crafting a masterpiece. The embalmer, a turbine bong of intricate design, gleamed under the dim light. Its complex structure was a testament to Jack's skill and dedication. The metal seemed to pulse with a life of its own, reflecting the dim light in a way that made it appear almost otherworldly. Each piece, cold and metallic, felt imbued with a sinister energy. They lay on the dark surface, waiting to be assembled, each one a crucial part of the whole. The eerie lighting cast long shadows, making the components look even more menacing. He handled them with reverence, a maestro preparing for his final symphony. Every piece was treated with the utmost care as if it were a delicate instrument. His focus was absolute, his mind entirely consumed by the task at hand. His eyes, usually flat and lifeless, flickered with a dangerous curiosity. Tonight was different. There was a spark in his gaze, a fire that had been absent for so long. It was as if he had found a new purpose, a new reason to push forward. Tonight, he wasn't looking for escape. Tonight, he craved transformation. The determination etched on his face was unmistakable. He was a man on a mission, driven by a desire to change, to become something more than he had ever been. The air crackled with unspoken promises, a silent pact forged in the heart of darkness. It was as if the room itself was alive, charged with an energy that was both exhilarating and terrifying. The silence was deafening, filled with the weight of what was to come. Jack knew that tonight would be a turning point, a moment that would define his future. The ritualistic preparations were complete, and now all that was left was to embrace the transformation that awaited. He loaded the bowl, a potent concoction that promised oblivion. The crystals, dark and alluring, whispered tales of other realms. With a final glance, he ignited the mixture. The embalmer sputtered, the turbine struggling to draw air. A low hiss escaped the contraption, the sound of a predator awakening. Jack watched, a flicker of apprehension dancing in his eyes. The embalmer was a fickle beast, demanding respect and offering no guarantees. He had been warned. He leaned in, his lips embracing the cold metal mouthpiece. The chill of the metal sent a shiver down his spine, a prelude to the torment that awaited him. He knew this was no ordinary inhalation. It was a ritual, a dance with death itself. The first inhale was a shock, a searing pain that ripped through his lungs. It felt as though fire had been ignited within him, each breath a dagger stabbing at his insides. His eyes widened in shock, the pain more intense than he had ever imagined. His vision blurred, his body rebelling against the intrusion. The world around him began to spin, colors blending into a chaotic swirl. He felt disoriented, as if he were losing his grip on reality, his senses overwhelmed by the onslaught. But he held on, each tortured breath a testament to his unwavering resolve. He had come too far to turn back now. Every inhale was a battle, every exhale a victory. His determination was the only thing keeping him grounded. He fought the urge to cough, to expel the burning sensation that ravaged his insides. His throat strained, muscles tightening as he suppressed the reflex. The effort was immense, but he knew that giving in would mean failure. His face, weathered and scarred, contorted into a mask of agony. Each line and wrinkle told a story of past battles, of pain endured and overcome. Now they bore witness to his current struggle, a silent testament to his fortitude. He held the smoke deep within, his body becoming a battlefield. Every muscle tensed, every nerve on edge. The internal struggle was fierce, a war waged within his very being. He could feel the smoke seeping into his lungs, spreading its tendrils throughout his body. The embalmer had begun its work. In the dim, smoke-filled room, the tools of the trade lay ready, each one a harbinger of the transformation to come.
The process was both art and science, a meticulous dance that required precision and skill. As the smoke continued to fill his lungs, he could feel the changes beginning, his body slowly succumbing to the embalmer's touch. The world around him warped and twisted, the familiar becoming alien. Colors bled into one another, a kaleidoscope of shifting patterns. The room spun, a dizzying waltz that threatened to pull him under. He felt himself falling, tumbling into a bottomless abyss. Sounds morphed into grotesque whispers, taunting him, pulling him deeper into the madness. His own heartbeat, a frantic drum in his ears, became a symphony of chaos. He was no longer in control a puppet dancing to the embalmer's tune. The initial burning gave way to an icy cold that spread through his veins. His skin prickled with a thousand needles, each touch a jolt of electricity. He felt his insides twist, a nauseating sensation that rose from the pit of his stomach. He tasted bile, the metallic tang of fear. The world around him dissolved into a swirling vortex of colors and sensations. He was lost in a sea of his own making, tossed and turned by the relentless waves of the embalmer's embrace. He retched, his body convulsing as he emptied the contents of his stomach onto the floor. Each heave sent shockwaves of pain through his being, a visceral reminder of his transgression. But with every expulsion, he felt a sliver of clarity pierce through the haze. The vomiting subsided, leaving him drained and trembling. He lay there, sprawled on the cold floor, his chest heaving. The world was still spinning, but the edges were less sharp, the colors less blinding. He had weathered the storm. As the initial onslaught subsided, a strange calm washed over him. The world was still a distorted mess, but he no longer felt overwhelmed. He was an observer, detached from the chaos, watching the spectacle unfold from a distance. He felt a strange sense of peace, a serenity he had never known. The constant chatter in his mind, the relentless barrage of thoughts and anxieties had quieted. In its place was a vast emptiness, a blank canvas ready to be painted anew. He closed his eyes, embracing the silence. He felt a shift within him, a fundamental realignment of his being, Old pains, deeply buried traumas, surfaced and evaporated under the embalmer's unforgiving gaze. He was being stripped bare, reduced to his core essence. And in that emptiness, he found a glimmer of hope. He saw the world through new eyes, unclouded by the baggage of the past. The embalmer, once a tool for escape, had become an instrument of transformation. He rose to his feet, unsteady at first, but gradually finding his balance. He walked towards the door of the Devil APC, each step a testament to his newfound clarity. He emerged into the night, the cool air a balm on his burning skin. The world was still there, as harsh and unforgiving as ever. But he was different. He saw the world with a clarity he had never known. His senses heightened, his mind sharp and focused. He was reborn. He looked up at the sky, a vast expanse of darkness, stretching endlessly above him. The night was silent, save for the distant whispers of the wind. It was dotted with a million stars, each one a beacon of hope in the inky blackness. They twinkled like tiny diamonds offering a glimmer of light in the overwhelming darkness. He had been lost in the darkness for what felt like an eternity, wandering aimlessly with no sense of direction. But then the embalmer had shown him the way back to the light, guiding him through the shadows. He took a deep breath, the cool night air filling his lungs with a renewed sense of purpose. It was as if he was breathing for the first time, feeling the life force within him surge with newfound energy. He didn't know what the future held, but he was ready to face it. The horizon stretched out before him a canvas of endless possibilities, he felt a sense of determination welling up inside him, stronger than ever before. He was no longer running from his fears or his past. He stood still, grounded, with a firm stance that spoke of newfound confidence and resolve. He was moving forward, each step a testament to his resilience. 
The scars of his past were visible, but they were not a source of shame. Instead, they were a badge of honor, a reminder of the battles he had fought and the wisdom he had gained. He was Jack, reborn in the crucible of the embalmer. His face showed a determination that was unyielding and a hint of optimism that promised a brighter future. He was ready to embrace the new dawn with all its challenges and opportunities.